Well, g'day folks, it's uh, Warren. We're heading off to uh, Big C again, not Big C, um, the mall uh, today. Uh, started work on the computer this morning um, and started getting memory errors again. Oh my god, it's just an ongoing battle with this thing. Uh, anyway, so I've done my best to explain to Shania. Here she is, my baby. Yeah. Hi. Hi. How are you Hi. today? I'm pretty sure they are. <laughs> yeah, today him, uh, him so sad for computer not working. But I say, you not argue, can slow, slow down for <laughs> yeah. talking. But him say, you know, this one, this one, my life, me. I say, oh my God. Him say, computer, my life, him. <laughs> but him no, thinking you're my life, lot. darling. You're my life. You but can. anyway, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so. You know, I've, I've done my best to, um, you know, give Shanya the rundown. I've stripped the computer down to three components and I have, you know, one of my diagnostics discs from, you know, like as I said before, I, I come from an industry uh, where we, you know, like I built, uh, you know, massive computer infrastructure, you know, across the globe uh, for a multinational company. I do know what I'm talking about when it comes to computer engineering. Right, so yes, I have a whole bunch of diagnostic systems that I can test with, right, and I have one specific test that tests memory on a system, right, and what we've found is the fact that I've stripped the computer, the computer now down to three components, which I can't test independently here, well, for one reason, I'm a Farang in Thailand and I have no diagnostics uh, kit outside these, these programs, and secondly, I don't have the spare parts to do sort of what they call, um, you know, change jockey diagnostics um, so I've now got to go back to the shop um, try to explain that situation to the engineer or to the computer you know technician in the shop the fact that one of these three components is causing this error right how about we just try changing each one of those components independently until that error can be seen to be gone very simple process but I've explained it to Shania <laughs> I think she understands what we're trying to do here, but I guess to see is going to be a challenge. Uh, and yeah, it is like, you know, I spend you know, a good deal of my life on my main computer. So now, right now, I'm sort of limited to my laptop, uh, which means I can't play my computer games. Which, yeah, anyway, like, yeah, you get the whole idea. Anyway, so don't forget uh, the subscribe button, you know, that's, uh, that helps our channel. Don't forget the little bells, you know, that's another thing. Don't forget to check the website and um, we'll catch up with you uh, as soon as uh, I get to the shop and um, we look at that whole uh, oh somebody else has been sitting in my chair anyway so we'll catch up with you uh, when we do the um, um, what, intro and when we get back catch you in a minute Well, at least we made it here without too much problem. There we go, so it's back in the box. You know, this is one of the things you like have to get used to in Thailand, especially when it comes to... Yeah, I think we, we go check where we buy from first, we talk about it. Yeah, so it's under warranty, so I'm going to have to try to push the warranty issue first, but as, you know, as I said before, the warranty issues can be really sort of quite prolonged, so it's a bit of a difficult one for us to deal with. Um, uh, so we'll go over there, right? I don't care about paying extra to solve the problem, right? I just need the problem solved. There's certain the lakes. You know, it actually brings up a, a whole new question about the whole thing about uh, foreigners retired in Thailand. Yeah, so as I say, you know, what we've got here is, you know, like I bought the computer from you know, a, what I called a, a reputable. Um, chain of uh, IT shops, which is um, what they call themselves here. The uh, uh, can't remember now. <laughs> um, we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, yeah, so there's a warranty process. Uh, what we found is the fact that yeah, there is a warranty process, and they lower on the warranty. But then of course they escalate through their you know vendor chain to get the warranty. 
right? There's not a thing. It's not like Dell, where you know, pretty much, you know, you can actually buy an on-site warranty repair service with your computer and have them come to your house. Um, well, that's what I've sort of been used to. But you know, when we built servers and bought servers from from um, from Dell, uh, you're, you're paying like a, you know, 10% more for the for the for the server just to have that three-year on-site warranty. And you'd still have to run the gauntlet, but it invariably once you've proved the problem, right, verified the problem with the diagnostic support from Dell, right, they would send an engineer out with all the parts within sort of uh, four working hours, right, and from there uh, the engine would arrive, they would change the parts, they would verify everything. Right, okay. Right, okay. Anyway, I, uh, let me just go and have a chat with these guys and we'll see where we go. Yeah, so there we have it. Uh, like, here's the, here's the lowdown, right? It's called IT City, right? I did think they were a reputable company. I've just walked in there, tried to affect the warranty, and tried to escalate a warranty process, and they basically told me they cannot fix. They would need to send it away to some place and maybe take two or three months to fix. Oh, my God. Anyway, so as I said, it's just a matter of the fact that I've got money, I will fix it myself. Just got to find somebody who can replace either one, two, or three parts, and find out which part is broken. Start with memory. Look, the app that the test I've been uh, using is a memory test program. So it could be the Corsair memory is the first component is faulty. So we'll try changing that first. If that doesn't work, then we'll look at the motherboard. Uh, that's probably the second possible uh, point uh, of failure uh, because the Intel processors they do go through a fairly a stringent testing process before they hit the market um, and that would be the, 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 the what I would call to be the third point of failure. Anyway so that's uh, really where we are we're just going to just run the gauntlet now and find somebody who will try to fix it today. Oh well you know we're still trying to work out all the little bits and pieces uh, uh, where we are so I just thought I'd just take a break you know while we're trying to work this out and actually give us a, a couple of shout outs actually. Um, first shout out I'm going to do is to, to Paul and Orm. Paul and Orm. Uh, they're currently uh, based out of Melbourne. Uh, he tells me that they'll be moving back to Isan uh, hopefully soon. They're building uh, a new house with a couple of bungalows. Uh, great idea. I tell you what, you know, when that's all done, give us a shout there, Paul, and uh, we'll come up and check out your bungalows and maybe stay for a couple of days. Sounds like a bit of a plan, doesn't it? Uh, anyway, so uh, who else has we got? Another shout out we've got as well is uh, uh, to Matt, uh, Matt and Nari. I didn't catch where they were from. Uh, he's just been a channel member for a while, I gather. It's very hard to tell how long people have been on the channel. Um, again, he said, yeah, give us a shout out. So there you go. Um, he said he's coming over for Song Crown next year. Um, so let's try and get together for that one and uh, have a beer and uh, I'll squirt you with a water gun. Sounds like a bit of a plan, doesn't it? Anyway, so uh, back to what we're doing here. So we're still just struggling with the whole thing. Uh, um, you know, I don't, I don't want to speak ill of anything here. Really, it's a bit of a problem with the language and the language barriers. Uh, okay, so we've got we've strict, hit a snag with the warranty. Basically, I can't wait for three months. This computer does all my development work, does all my web work, does plays my games. So if you look at my life, <laughs> I spend probably maybe six to eight hours a day on a computer. Yes, I could resort back to using my laptop. And I use my laptop for a while, but I can't play my games. My games required a gaming computer, something with a bit of high performance. Uh, it was designed around the high performance category. And it ran, apart from the graphics card issues, uh, which may not have been an issue, right? What we've seen is this thing here over a period of time has progressively got worse. Right? I don't know why. Right? It's maybe a timing chip or something. So it's one of those really weird ones. I've just sort of said, look, it's just a matter of changing parts. Right? If I have a set of what we call gold parts in the industry, change a part, if that works, then we know we're good. Change this part, run a test, does it work? Okay, we're good. So it's not rocket science so, and invariably in the computer industry it's not rocket science right if something is working right, and there's no obvious reason why something fails then you just got a process of elimination what part do you eliminate 
to try to find out uh, is what's going on. And that's where we are. Um, I don't know whether it's just a logic process that we're just trying to overcome. I just sort of said, I don't care about the cost. Right? I can't enjoy living in Thailand doing what I do without a computer of a high spec specifically for playing games. That's what I bought originally for 60,000 baht. Right? All I want them to do is solve the problem. Right? I don't care how, I, well, I do care how long it takes, but um, I don't want to, you know, so I could wait three months, but oh god, three months, totally crawling the wall after, after a week. Uh, I know the first time around I was crawling the wall after a week. Um, yeah, so it's just one of those two things. I just went and bought a new graphics card, initially that solved the problem. Right, so, you know, he said it's running too hot, right? Now, the, the, room, the computer works in a, uh, it's a, little, it's a little drive around um, mobile here. They take the people around the, around the shopping center and he's got a reversing buzzer on the damn thing. Annoying. Yeah, so just as I said, look, you know, if, it's a, if it just requires a, a, a high, you know, high volume CPU cooler, let's put that on. Right. It might just be, be a, a factor, it just needs better CPU uh, heat transfer compound. It could be as simple as that. You know, it was working and now it progressively got worse. Right. CPU heat transfer compound does degrade over time. So uh, it's just one of those things. I'm trying to understand the concept of the fact that I will pay you to fix it. Seems to be the cha most challenging thing we're, 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 in, we're encountering here now. And it's driving me to distraction. And I don't want to speak ill of these guys. Like these, these are a service centre. Um, you know, this is what they pride themselves on: is just fixing problems. Uh, let's see what we can do to fix it. Uh, anyway, we'll see how we go. What they've done is they've actually pulled out a, a massive honking fan to go on the CPU. Right. And we've been running that test for a few minutes now. Uh, this test that they're, they're using on the testing program would fail already on this little tiny fan. This is the fan that was supplied with the initial build. Right? And it would reach 82 degrees Celsius very, very quickly. Um, now we're sort of seeing this thing here running 10 degrees cooler just with this fan. So I'm thinking that maybe if we get a, a new one of these, we should be good. Uh, it's very hard to tell. I can see the temperature's now risen one, uh, an extra degree um, from what it was, but um, it still looks... You know, I think it was uh, hitting the over, over temperature 82 degrees Celsius. Um, so it's hard to tell. But as I said, you know, we're already looking promising. Just need to sort of work out how much a fan light that costs. We might have to increase the, the, um, the uh, voltage of the um, power supply as well. But you know, we're getting somewhere, so you know, here's the mob that we're using up here in Bangkok. So they're up on the fourth floor, giving a bit of a plug. Uh, language is a bit of a problem, but you know, we, we're, we're getting through and see how we go. Yeah, so we've changed the, we put the, obviously second hand fan in, we've proved our point. This is the new one here, it's 2,000 baht for the new, for the new uh, fan. He's just now fitting it up now. We need that and some transfer paste and we should be good to go. Um, we've managed to drop the temperature of this CPU by 10 degrees just with this testing process. So I think we've definitely got a winner. Exactly why we had this particular fan unit, you know, this was the one that was came with the original built system. It's an Intel fan, supposedly designed for the Intel 6700 CPU, which we've got in there, which is an i7. Um, and you'd think that that'd work, but you know, some people say, well, this is Thailand, things just get hotter in Thailand. But seriously, like the room that, we, that I have the computer in is at 23 degrees Celsius or 24 degrees Celsius. It doesn't get that hot. Uh, so. Um, obviously there's a design flaw somewhere, not quite sure, maybe it's just a transfer paste compound, who knows. Anyway, we've got a winner, just got to go through the final testing processes and final fitting processes and that will be good.
Yeah, anyway, so I, I was actually sort of trying to bring up a whole idea as well while we're getting this last part done. Uh, it, it actually struck me the other day is like, okay, so I'm retired in Thailand, which means no, I don't have to get up in the morning and go to work five days a week or maybe six days a week, you know, run the gauntlet, work for somebody else's dream and all that sort of stuff. Okay, I don't want us to say that there's a right or wrong in that particular program. It's obviously worked for thousands of years. Um, you know, obviously these days here where it's all driven by money, you've got to ask the question, is it really the right thing? Are there different ways of doing it? But, you know, that aside, what about this whole thing, right? I'm now retired at, well, I'm 56 years old. Um, I still feel quite energetic, sprightly. Um, I've chosen Thailand to retire in. The big questions are is, you know, like, okay, I fill my day, you know, playing on the computer, making a, doing the video editing, doing the vlog, uh, building the website, uh, all the stuff that's computer related. That's something I enjoy doing. Right? That's mixed in with obviously eating food, and you know, probably once every two or three days we go somewhere, see something new, do some shopping, do something, you know, have a bit of fun. That's our life. I, I need to ask the question, right, if you weren't a computer geek like me, what does a retiree do in Thailand? I think, I, I, I don't actually see, think I've seen much of this particular aspect of Thailand living. Uh, and it, to me, to me, I, she's still talking to them. To me, this seems now a bit of a strange and a foreign concept. I, I actually haven't put much thought into it. So I'm going to throw it out to you guys, right? Just uh, in closing out this video, right? If, you, if you're not a computer geek and you're retired in Thailand, what do you guys do on a, on a daily basis? Right, okay, so let's, let's not go down the uh, Pattaya route or, you know, ASOC region or Nana region or, or uh, Pat Pong region, um, fun and games for nighttime activity. Right? There's obviously daytime activity. I suppose if you're in a resort area like, you know, Pattaya or Hin, you have got beach activities. Um, I know one of one of the uh, vloggers down in uh, in Ho Hin, uh, he loves riding bikes. Uh, he knows who it is. Look, I'm not going not to do any more uh, calling out of particular vloggers in Thailand because if you just say the wrong thing or the wrong things interpreted, it can lead to a bit of you know uh, fun and games. But I'm sure he loves what he does. He, he loves cycling. Um, uh, me? No, I'm sorry, I don't do cycling. It's not not, not my thing. Um, I know another guy up in uh, Isan, um, uh, he's been following the channel for as long as I've been running the channel. Uh, I see his constant posts on Facebook, I, I, not that I've really delved into it, uh, he does uh, hydroponic farming um, and uh, I, I must talk to him more about that and to see if that's a commercial enterprise or, or is this something he does as a spare time. He's obviously putting a lot of time in it. Um, what are, what are other people doing in Thailand if they're, if they're not a computer geek like me? Uh, is it, well, do you spend all day at pubs? Um, to me, that just seems sort of so unhealthy. It's, it, it doesn't even enter, enter in my mind. Um, but what do you do? Um, you know, how many jet skis can you ski in a day? To ski on, on a day? How much abseiling can you do? How much uh, water sports can you do? Um, I'd love to hear from you know, people uh, what other activities right, uh, can be done as a retiree right, without getting too bored. So there's a challenge out for everybody that watches the channel. Um, give us some ideas and maybe some things I can explore as well and um, have a look at and sort of bring that, uh, those options and have a look at that sort of lifestyle uh, in the whole retirement gene. Because, uh, as I said, I don't think many people are covering that. There's a lot of, you know, like there's, there's channels that cover the nightlife. Um, there's channels, you know, up north covering the farming aspect, which I think is a great thing. If you like farming, um, good. Um, there's some channels that do bike riding. Um, I'm just looking for ideas to explore um, and see where that takes us. Anyway, look, um, we're going to sort of wrap it up here. Um, my poor baby. It's been a bit of a challenge, but we've managed to sort out the problem. 
we're now putting the new fan in, haven't we? Everything good now? Uh, I think everything good, but yeah. him say something to change like this. Yeah. But just to change first, for maybe for later you have happen again. Yeah, so okay, we have a problem, we look at it again. But I think cooling was the problem when I couldn't easily test. So anyway, um, interesting vlog tonight. Today has a bit of an ad lib, a couple of shout outs. Uh, and a computer problem which has popped up today. So it looks like we're going to get it solved today. Um, so I'm happy again. I'll be back to you know, my usual exploits tomorrow. And, um, and then... <laughs> what? Like this, my lie. People say me in the <laughs> morning. <laughs> but don't forget, like, the things that are coming up. Um, I've spoken to the bank about getting the, you know, doing the transfer for a deposit for her new a Honda Civic. Uh, I don't know if you actually picked that up. Um, it's not a break something. Um, I don't know if you actually picked that up uh, at the last on the last two vlogs. Um, she's had the Honda Civic has been something she'd wanted for. Well, um, she's actually looked at them ever since we bought the Vios, which was a second-hand car. She always wanted the Honda. Uh, her father, you know, was sort of was high. Was back then, not much experience with driving back then. And my father just you know, convinced her to take the, um, uh, the Vios. Um, and that was only second hand. Now we're looking at, you know, she's had you know, the uh, eight years of driving experience. Um, had a couple of little fender benders, nothing serious. Um, and, you know, this is how life is. Um, I now actually need to explore the whole uh, insurance game. Um, the whole hire purchase game, it'll be done in her name but I'll be paying the deposit and uh, we'll probably take a seven year uh, lease on that uh, which we've done some basic numbers, it's about 12,000 baht a month over seven years to own that particular Honda. Um, just haven't finalised which model it is, that's the next challenge is probably going back to the Impact Arena for another round and, um, and signing some paperwork because supposedly that's where you make the deals, that's where all the um, bonuses and add-ons are thrown in and we've got to the 12th of December to put that all together. We need to sign something, I need to get to the bank, uh, draw a, what they call it, we call it a bank check, they call it a cashier's check. I uh, need to get back to the Impact Arena, give them the cashier's check and then await delivery of the car. So that's something else we're going to be doing, so keep tuned for that one. Anyway guys, bye for now, say bye bye. Okay, bye-bye.